Hello, welcome to the Lictherm Steady State Liquid Pipeline Hydraulic Simulation Introductory Video Tutorial. We'll discuss the key features of Lictherm, followed by the simulation of an actual products pipeline, going through the various Lictherm screens and data entry, and finally talk about the availability and pricing of the software. The key features of Lictherm. It's a steady state liquid pipeline hydraulic simulation program. It can be used for both isothermal or thermal hydraulics. It can model pump stations with constant speed or variable speed pumps. Heaters can be modeled along the pipeline. It simulates the pressure and temperature profile. It can be used to determine the horsepower required at each pump station. Pipe branches and loops can be modeled off of the main line. You can simulate batching of multiple products. And finally, DRA injection for increasing throughput can be modeled. We're going to look at a sample pipeline simulation. Okay, we have a refined products pipeline that goes from Beaumont to Compton, 16 inch, quarter inch wall, 100 miles long. The Beaumont starts at mile post zero elevation of 100 feet. Compton is at mile post 100, elevation of 350 feet. Harvard is an intermediate location at mile post 50 with an elevation of 150 feet. The objectives are first to determine the maximum throughput possible with diesel fuel considering 1440 psi maximum allowable operating pressure with two pump stations, one at Beaumont and the other at Harvard. Next, we have to select the pumps required for the above configuration, one pump at each station. Finally, we need to determine the pipeline throughput when pumping gasoline with these pumps that we have selected. Before we get started with the simulation, let's look at the Lictherm user interface. On the top menu bar, you have the conventional file, edit, option, stations, and so on. On the left-hand vertical plane, we have a series of menu items, starting with new pipeline, pump stations, flow rates, pump curves, calculate, report, a help screen, and finally exiting the program. Under the introductory screen, we have five easy steps to get started. First, choose the units of calculations from the option menu. Next, create a new pipeline or open an existing pipeline. Next, enter the liquid flow rate, locations, and product name from the liquid menu or using the flow rate menu on the left. Next, specify the pump station locations and pump data by clicking on the stations menu at the top or the pump stations menu on the horizontal on the vertical left panel. Finally, start calculations by clicking on the calculate icon. We'll open the Beaumont to Compton pipeline, which is a 100 mile pi pipeline, 16 inches in diameter and an MAOP of 1440 PSI. We'll assume a terminus delivery pressure of 50 PSI, minimum pipeline pressure of 10, and we'll indicate prevent slack line. This is actually for pipelines with drastic elevation changes. For right now, we'll just leave this alone. Let's look at the flow rates. Starting off at distance zero, which is the beginning of the pipeline, we assume the flow rate is 100,000 barrels per day, inlet temperature of 60 degrees, and we choose the liquid, in this case diesel. If you push F3, it opens up the liquid properties database. You can choose the various products in the database. In this case, we're going to stick with diesel. We save, we go to the pump station screens and we see Beaumont and Harvard at distance of 0 and 50 with these default pump efficiency and 
default suction pressures. Click the update button. We go to the pumps and driver section. We have at Beaumont Station a TBD pump, meaning to be determined. We don't have a pump curve yet. We'll put in a driver horsepower of 5,000, estimated value. It will be a motor drive with rated speeds of 3,500 RPM. The next station, Harvard, is the same. It will be a TBD pump with 5,000 horsepower. With this information, we're ready to start simulation. Hit the Calculate button. It gives you a warning, which you can just ignore for right now. And this presents you with the basis of calculations. I'm going to use MAOP Check, Maximum Inlet Flow option, and Isothermal Calculation.